March 2011. One girl with one song about one day stormed the internet. The girl, Rebecca Black. The day, Friday. I've loved music for as long as I can remember. Since I was about 10, so three years ago. So I said to my parents, Mom, Dad, I think music is pretty cool. And that was probably around March 8th. Yeah, it was a Tuesday. But the road was not easy. Rebecca would have to wait through an entire day of school on Tuesday, March 8th, before she'd finally get the break she needed. At this point, I would just do whatever I could to make music. I'd play rock band with my friends or hum a song in the school hallway, wherever they let me play. Finally, my parents were like, if you still like music, we heard of a place that'll make you a video. God, I can't believe that was almost a month ago. Coming up, Friday is released on an unsuspecting public when we return. What? There's no commercial? Okay, roll it. After hours of struggle, Rebecca Black finally hit the big time. I love her. I love Rebecca Black. I really thought I knew something about writing, about music, about songwriting, and then I hear this Friday thing, and I'm just blows my mind. I'm going, oh my God, that's it. She hit it. So many people were talking to me like, what about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? What about the weekend? For me, it's always going to be Friday. You have to understand the times we were living in when this song came out. Rango was number one at the box office, not number three when this song came out, okay? St. Patrick's Day was in front of us, it's behind us. Soon Rebecca discovered the dark side of fame. All the success is really hard to deal with. I mean, whenever I go to a party, there's candy everywhere. People are offering me pixie sticks and Tootsie Rolls. It's hard to say no to that. One time, Jay Leno offered me a Werther's original. I ate it, and it was good. Then, the unthinkable happened. So I'm burnt, all my arm, my hand completely down to the bone. The side of my face, hair gone, uh, part of my back. Total confusion. On April 1st, 2011, Rebecca Black peacefully passed. This cemetery on the way to school. I don't worry too much about celebrities or fame. My parents keep me pretty grounded. Like literally, I'm grounded for popping bub and rolling on dubs past curfew. But you know, the game is the game. Next week on Betwixt the Music, we profile someone who will get famous between now and then. 